again. We've called today's episode Learning New Skills because in this time of lockdown we're all having to learn new skills and today we're going to be joined by Katie and Waffy and they're going to take you through a typical kind of visit that they might make. So over to them. Hello, I'm Katie and I play the violin and the viola and with my friend Waffy on the clarinet we're going to play you some of our favourite melodies some folk songs, some opera melodies, and some things you might not have heard of yet. We have great fun making up our own arrangements and quite often adding percussion and singing and all sorts of things, so hopefully you'll join in with a bit of that later on. The first piece we're going to play is called King of the Fairies. It's an old hornpipe written a long, long time ago, and it's just very energetic and very lively, and I love playing it. Me too. <laughs> Here is King of the Fairies. I want to. <laughs> Vivaldi over 300 years ago um, and it's from one of his concerti for the violin called the Four Seasons a group of four concertis put together um, and Waffy's going to actually steal the violin melody <gasps> and play it on her clarinet and I'm going to represent the orchestra on the violin. These concertos all had poems attached to them and I looked up the words for this slow movement of winter and roughly translated it is to spend happy and quiet days near the fire while outside the rain pours down. I know that's not very seasonal but it's a beautiful beautiful melody. <laughs> So that's how Katie and Waffy might start a visit in a care home or a community setting. But in learning new skills, what they've had to do is Katie has recorded the music in her house. 
She's then sent it to Waffy. You might notice that Waffy was wearing earphones, so she's listening to what Katie's doing, then recording herself on the top. And as usual with Waffy, she interrupts. So she's, she's sort of talking to Katie, but they live miles away from each other. So we've started, as they might do, as I've said, by listening. And what they usually do next is to get you to join in. So to our habanera by Bizet, and we definitely need your help in this one. It sounds so much better when we've got you doing the habanera rhythm with us. And I tend to find that when I'm in the room uh, with you, that there's usually a group of brilliant musicians sat about here. I quite often call them my naughty corner. <laughs> um, they're usually um, quite keen to join in and have lots of really great questions. So I can feel that you're there, my naughty corner, and I've just got a feeling you're gonna be brilliant at this rhythm. So it goes like this. So it's you've got a sort of um on your chest. So can we do that together? And then the tricky bit afterwards. Da dum bum. Da dum bum. Da -dum, da -dum, bum. Could you do that with me? I'm going to play on some percussion instruments in the actual piece and on my clarinet and we're going to have Katie on her viola. But naughty corner over here, please. Da -dum, bum. And over that side of the room too, if you want to join in, that'd be brilliant. Thanks. We're now going to play a habanera from Carmen and I've invited my daughter back because she did the habanera so well on last week's episode so I thought she could help us out and if there are any of you out there if you can grab yourself a tambourine or a shaker join in with this rhythm. Ava you better get going Katie's off. Cha, 
cha, boom, cha, cha, boom, cha, cha. I've got a feeling that you're really good at that, so I think we're ready to invite myself and Katie along to come and play with you, okay? Okay, are we ready to perform our um people and our cha cha people? Here we go! Cha 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 people! Here we go! Oh, cha cha! Oh, cha cha! and I were lucky enough to play the magic flute with the orchestra at Glyndebourne. It's so exciting being part of a big team, watching the scenery go up, costumes being made, hearing the soloists rehearse backstage, and finally getting into the pit all together and putting things together. It's just magic. It's my favourite thing to do. Me too. Um, this next piece we're going to play is my favourite bit of the opera, the priest march at the beginning of Act Two. And for the strings, it is just perfection. It's really simple and poised and just perfect, really. Uh, for this um, piece that we're going to play for clarinet and viola, we've had to actually change the key, put it into a different key. Now, I'd like to say that Mozart wouldn't mind, but actually he would mind, because he was extremely particular what was played and sung in what key. So, sorry, Mozart. Yes, sorry. Um, so it's lovely for the strings to play, but Wafi, what's, what's it like for you guys in the wind? Is it the same feeling? Do you have to take lots of deep breaths before you start, or how does it go for you guys? Mm. Well, you've been hearing me in today's performance playing an old clarinet, but in this piece in the opera, he uses the basset horn, which is this strange creature here. Oh, it's difficult to get it in the picture. And it, he used it because it sounded like this. An unusual sound. Thank you, Effie. I don't think this is very appropriate, so I'm going to take that off and maybe put my more suitable priest's hat on. And I'll get my old clarinet and take. <laughs>
After hearing that Mozart, I thought it might be really nice for you to see a picture of Glyndebourne. It is the most wonderful opera house. They've got fantastic gardens and we've all got really, really happy memories of playing there. We're now going to move on with Katie and Waffy, and you might hear and you might sing some cuckoos. You might do some swaying. There might be a race. I'm not sure who's going to win. You never know with these two. And at the end, we're going to finish with a beautiful lullaby. This next piece is an old medieval round. It's got lots of titles attributed to it. Summer is a coming in, sing cuckoo. I think it's even still sung in schools these mm, days. I think it is, yes. Which is nice. Yeah. I think of people still carrying on the tradition. So it can be sung in lots of different ways, including you could join in with this going on all the way through. Sing cuckoo now, sing cuckoo. Sing cuckoo now, sing cuckoo. That fits all the way through. Um, you'll hear the clarinet with the melody and I play the bass line. And I'll do the singing. And it's a great fun one to join in with. You can sing whatever you want. Can you join me, okay? <laughs> Good luck, Katie. Good okay. luck. Of course, I'm the waves, so if I decide to get choppy, you're just going to have to go I'm with I'm listening. It. I'm listening, OK? <laughs> Me too. when I want to remember a rhythm that I tend to put words to it. So you could put the words tea, coffee, tea, coffee, or maybe you might even want to say wine, sherry, wine, sherry. But as this performance is in the day, maybe we'll stick with tea, coffee, because it is about four o'clock in the afternoon, isn't it? And I'd like you to do some body percussion with this. So on the tea, if you could tap your knees, tea, and then on the coffee, clap. Coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee. Have we all got that? So let's put it with the, um, with the rest of us playing. <laughs>
might have a race in this one and see who can get to the end first. Oh, Kate is off already, I better join her. Katie and Wafi were in the room with you today. I certainly did. I'd like to also thank them for learning new skills. So I'm going to leave them to say goodbye and also leave you with a final treat from John Henry. Well, it's been great fun putting this video together for you. We hope you've enjoyed it. We've had some challenges, haven't we, Wafi? We certainly have. But it's all good fun. <laughs> Great. So thank you and it's goodbye from me. Goodbye from me too. <laughs> bye. Bye bye.